Yeah, hi there, and uh, these comments are for AF, and I am Michael Buckoff, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the 7-Step System to pass the 12th YBT, and guess what? A lot of people, even native speakers, do not like recording their voice on, you know, on a mic, using a microphone. That's something you have to get used to, so you say. I have a TOEFL test after three weeks, but I've just found new problem for me. It seems I can't speak when I put on my headphones. It's going to be a phobia. I'd like to get advice about what point uh, I can start to solve this problem. Uh, I would say from now on, all correspondence that you have with me, do it by audio. You can start recording and making your questions by audio and then asking me those questions by audio. That's a good start. That helps you get used to making recordings. Now, the other thing, of course, is to prepare. So, what I recommend is a couple of things, maybe three things. Number one, spend some time each day reading magazines, newspapers, and books. Also, spend some time each day listening. You can practice listening to TV programs, maybe with an emphasis on science, history, news, and documentary programs. That would be a good start. Now, as you're doing both of those things, get in the habit of note-taking, and then using your notes. If you want to practice integrated writing, you can use your notes, and you can write a summary of the reading and the listening passages. Then using your notes, you can orally summarize that information, and you got it record your voice when you do those summaries again so you can get used to it so those are two things that are good and again all correspondence AF that you have with me from now on do it by audio you can send me the link to the audio file I'll be happy to listen to it I'll try to give you some comments and uh, if you join my online TOEFL course I do have a VoxyPop discussion group and this is going to be the most help for you. You can start recording speaking practice tests online. The more you record, the less nervous you will become, the more comfortable you will be when you're doing those pr practice tests online, and then it will be much easier for you when you do the TOEFL IBT exam. All right, so that's my recommendations. My recommendations are practicing the reading and the listening, using your own materials every day, practice writing and speaking about that information. When you speak, make sure you record your voice. Also, uh, when you join my TOEFL course, you can start posting speaking responses at my VoxyPop discussion group. You can also do that. All right? Anyway, those are my suggestions, and thank you, and have a great day, sir. And uh, all the best to your high-scoring TOEFL success.